The topic of this video is VirtualBox. I've been writing and making lots of videos on, on VirtualBox about VirtualBox, but in ArcoLinux.com there is no article and uh, virtual machines there. So how do you install VirtualBox? Well, you can always check out our GitHub because what we do is we install uh, well scripts. We have scripts to install VirtualBox. That means that at some point in time we went to the Arch Wiki and we found out, hey, we need this and this and this and that to install VirtualBox. And what we do is we just write it down in files like this. So if you're stuck, you can check out these things. Now you see here, there is a difference between the Linux kernel and the Linux LTS kernel. And that's when it gets complicated. You need to know what kind of kernel you're on. Okay, so what do we do? We go to Pamac is maybe a good idea because this gives always an overview of what's on your system. Everything that's green is on your system. So you wonder, hey, do I have Linux on there? So that's the name of the kernel. And the kernel we're using is 4.16.4, Ctrl-Alt-T. It gives you the same information in the NeoFetch. So, okay, so definitely I do need this guy. I don't need the LTS because the LTS is the alternative and LTS is not installed. Check it if it's installed. It's not. So I don't need the one script, I need the other script. And the technology or the information is available, it's in here, and it says, okay, if you want to have it, then, then you need to install the LTS headers and all that, but this is the LTS, the long-term support thing. So I don't need this one, I need that one. And it says, okay, install the VirtualBox host and the modules arch and install VirtualBox and that's it. And this information came, of course, from the arch wiki. But I do get the question or the remark from people say, oh my God, it's too much for me. So arch wiki VirtualBox is what you need to Google. And then you have all this information and you start reading and reading and we summarize what we've read into a script. So you're welcome to run also these scripts here. So I'm gonna show you what to do. So again, Linux LTS is not the way to go. I need to have the other one for the Linux kernel. Check. So let's go to this and then let's go ahead. So we could run the script of course, but let's show it in here minus s and then the, there's a lot of things that are virtual here take a look so probably we're gonna need virtual box and then we're gonna then it's a lot of questions eh? what to do next so the host is where we are that's we are the system that hosts a virtual box and everything that's called guest is to be installed on the machine inside virtual box so that's the deal so, okay, fine. So we need host something, but not a DKMS, that's for LTS. So we need the modules arch. That's all you need to install and you have a virtual box. Why am I saying, why, why, why this? Well, for instance, when I press super F7, then there is already a shortcut available. Super F7 is run virtual box, but if you have not installed it, you get these errors. It's not actually an error. We just didn't put VirtualBox on the ISO uh, because not everybody is going to try out different Linux systems. So that's why it's not on there. Um, so, okay, if you don't want to see the error, well, you need to install VirtualBox. Oliver is the keyboard shortcut, of course, but we definitely want to be able to run VirtualBox. Now, talking about VirtualBox, Eric, there is something else you should say to people. Um, let's see if we can get there. So, I've made a tutorial on ArcLinux.com and its installation. I'm gonna add even more to it, to this category. And it says installing ArcLinux from A to Z. And what's important for VirtualBox is that you need to go into BIOS and you need to activate the CPU configuration Intel virtualization technology must be enabled on your BIOS or EFI or setup, whatever they call it, but it's it's there. And you can get into it with escape, F2, F8, delete, F12 sometimes too. 
and you need to look out for a word called virtualization and it must be enabled otherwise VirtualBox will never work VMware the same that's the best tip and the last tip and now everything is installed and have fun